An NTK party functionary was hacked to death in Tamil Nadu's Madurai city this morning. Balasubramanian, police say, was on his morning walk when he was murdered. No arrests made and police deny it's a case of political murder. They say it's a revenge killing over a personal enmity and a family dispute. This has set a worrying trend of political party functionaries being killed. Just 10 days ago, the BSP chief in Tamil Nadu, Armstrong, was hacked to death in Chennai by a six-member gang. In that case too, police denied that to be a political murder and they blamed it on what they call as a revenge killing over the killing of a rowdy called Arkad Suresh last year. The alleged rowdy's family, police say, suspected Armstrong to have engineered his killing. Soon after that, the police commissioner in Chennai was transferred and the new commissioner, A. Arun, said he would crack down on rowdies and that he would speak their language to make them understand. Days after that, one of the 11 suspects arrested in the Armstrong murder case was killed in a police encounter outside Chennai on Sunday. Police claim the accused had an open fire when they were recovering a country-made gun he had hidden somewhere and that police had opened fire in self-defense. The encounter killing also raised questions of human rights violations and political parties also questioned whether there's any motive behind the killing of this particular suspect. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.